Thank you for your interest in the Sono 14 Function Skincare Facial Machine. This video will cover how to attach all of the various tools to the main unit. Let's begin. Everything comes in a large box. You can feel free to use a cutter, just do not cut too deeply into the boxes. Please make sure to hold on to all your original packaging at least until you've set up the unit and tested all the functions. Once you confirm everything is working properly, we recommend keeping the packaging for the duration of your warranty period. However, if you don't have space, it's fine to dispose of the packaging after you've tested all the functions. The first thing you'll want to do is get the steamer arm into position. All you need to do is pull the head like this and it will be free to come up. Next, grab this piece. This is the steamer beaker holder. Bring the holder to the back of the unit and make sure the hooks are facing this direction. Attach the beaker holder like this. Now take the beaker and install the rubber gasket. Make sure that whenever you're using the steamer that the rubber gasket is on. Never use the steamer without a rubber gasket on the beaker. You can run your finger along the gasket to ensure that it seals well. At the back of the unit, the top of the beaker goes up here inside this lip. Make sure that the beaker is flush all the way up inside. Now just tighten the knob on the bottom until the beaker is snug. Make sure not to over tighten. The last thing you need to do is install the guard. This helps to protect you and others from touching the beaker when it's hot. Make sure that the slots are facing this way. Now the steamer is ready for use. Now we will install all the tools that plug into this side of the Sono. Grab the accessory tray that looks like this. The distinguishing feature is this cutout here. Unscrew the large plastic screws and put them to the side. Install the tray like this and put the screws back in their holes. Tighten them down until they're snug. Do not over tighten. We'll start with the tool whose plug is on top. This one is for the needleless mesotherapy handles. Please note, many of the plugs on the cables look like this. Make sure the top arrow on the plug is on top when you insert the plug into the machine. Once the plug is inserted, you can screw on the lock to secure it in place. It's important to note that both of the mesotherapy handles share the same socket. When you're done with one and you want to use the other, unplug the one you are using and plug in the other one. The next tool in line is the hot cold hammer. On the bottom of the hammer is the four prong male end. Take the cable and find the four prong female end. Connect them and screw on the lock to secure the connection. Take the other end of the cable, plug it into the unit and tighten the lock. The next tool to install is the galvanic roller handle. This one's plug just goes straight into the socket. Do the same thing with the ball galvanic handle. And finally, the negative probe gets plugged in last. Now that all those tools are done, let's move on to the other side of the Sono. Grab the other accessory tray like this and secure it like you did the other tray. The first tool to install on this side is the skin scrubber. Put it into the tray, plug it into the unit, and tighten the lock. The next tools to install are the ultrasonic handles. You'll notice that the cables for the handles are slightly different. Take the cable that has the three-prong female end and plug it in here. Tighten up the lock and plug the other end into this ultrasonic handle. Do the same thing with the other cable and the other ultrasonic handle. The next tool to install is the spot remover. Go ahead and put it on the tray and plug it straight into its socket. The last tool to attach is the high frequency handle. Now let's move to the front of the unit. First we will connect the vacuum hose and handle. Take the hosing that has the yellow filter in the middle. The vacuum handle comes already attached. Take the other end of the tubing and attach it to the main unit. You'll find the vacuum handle tips in the same container as the high frequency electrodes. You can attach a vacuum tip to the end of the handle by just pushing the tip onto the end of the handle. One thing to note about the vacuum handle is that there is a hole on the handle. This hole needs to be covered during a treatment if you want suction to occur. If the hole is uncovered, then there will be no suction. Next we will attach the spray hose and bottle. Attach the hose to the unit and then connect the other end to the spray bottle. Please note that the hole on top needs to be covered in order for water to spray out. 
you can find a spot for the spray bottle and vacuum handle next to the hot cold hammer. On the back of the unit, the woods lamp holder needs to be installed. Go ahead and unscrew the three screws and install the holder like this. Next, you can take the woods lamp and attach the hood. Then it can go in its holder. The woods lamp plugs in here. The last thing to install is the magnifying lamp. This is its holder. You simply push the lamp in until it's seated. Don't worry if it's a bit tough to get in. It's a brand new unit, so the parts will need some breaking in. The mag lamp plugs into the back of the unit here. The following only applies if you purchase the diamond microdermabrasion add-on. The diamond microdermabrasion handle and the vacuum handle share the same hose. To use the microdermabrasion handle, you have to remove the vacuum handle from its hose and attach the hose to the microdermabrasion handle. Then you can attach one of the diamond tips and it's ready for use. Thank you for taking the time to learn how to set up the Sono 14 Function Skincare Facial Machine. Your machine is now ready for the years of facial treatments to come.